Hello everyone and welcome back to What Not To Render. My name is James Conwell, I'm a product design graduate from the University of Brighton. In today's episode, I'm going to be having a look at why you shouldn't zoom out of your render while it's rendering or after it's finished. This is the scene I'll be using today, and this is of course the view that welcomes most new users when they start up Maxwell Render itself. And when I'm teaching students, I usually ask them to use the native screen display that they're using as the resolution in Maxwell Render, i.e. 1280 by 1024. And so when Maxwell Render first opens up like this, they can't actually see the full image. And so almost instinctively, the first thing they do is this. They zoom out of their render using the scroll wheel on the mouse. And especially because in my case at the moment I'm using a touch mouse, so the effect is exaggerated. But basically they will use their mouse wheel to scroll in and out until they find a zoom level that's suitable for them. And this is a bad idea, and the reason is that when you are zoomed out of an image, like I am now, it's more difficult to see the imperfections and the noise in the render. Because, for example, at this zoom level is 50%, so at the moment, 4 pixels in the image equals 1 pixel on the screen. And the effect that has is to kind of reduce the noise that's visible. And what can also happen is that you get banding in the image. Now banding isn't particularly visible in this image, but if I change to another one, you can see some banding appearing here on the screen. But if I zoom back to 100%, there's no banding at all. So in other words, zooming out of your render to see more of it can either make it look better than it is by reducing the visible noise, or make it look worse than it is by making it appear like there's banding. The correct procedure, if you want to view all of your image on screen at once, is to either press the H key to hide the Maxwell Render menus, or press the F key to go full screen. Of course, it is still a good idea to zoom into renders to see detailed areas and inspect them for noise or other problems, but I usually recommend using Control or Command and plus and minus in order to zoom in, and then the arrow keys to scroll over. This gives just a little bit more control than using the mouse. Of course, if you do want to use just the mouse, you can always right-click and select Pan and this will allow you to pan around your image, rather than using the arrow keys, which can sometimes get a bit sluggish. And also using the pan tool gives much finer control over where your image is. And remember that's right click and pan, shortcut is P. Of course, when you're rendering an image which is destined to be printed out, your resolution is likely to be much higher than your display. So in that case, of course, yes, you can zoom out to have a better look at it, but still, I recommend using the keyboard controls rather than the mouse, just for the finer control that it gives you. Zooming out of an image in Maxwell Render using the mouse wheel to get a better look of it, that is what not to render. Press the H key to hide the menus or F to go full screen, and then use Command or Control and Plus and Minus if you really have to. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.